I said there was no Animaniacs video coming and yet there's an Animaniacs video here. What am I doing? So if you're a fan of Animaniacs you would know that there is a movie, a director video, now director DVD movie called Wacko's Wish and it is good. I am on that half of the fandom that really really like this movie. I think I can say my thoughts about it another time but from for now I'm gonna say it is really good. But I bet you didn't know that there would be some Animaniacs movies coming out as well but sadly they didn't actually come out because they were all cancelled. Apparently Wacko's Wish didn't make enough money to make more movies so oops. However if you go onto Tom Ruger's site I think that's how you pronounce his name I have no idea. Well if you go onto his blog site thing. Then he posted concept art or concept posters back in 2011 or 2012 for the cancelled Animaniacs films and I have them right here to look at because it's been all I think I have seen a couple of these before but I've never really seen them up close. I think I've seen them in an article called um what was it called? More than you ever wanted to know about Animaniacs. I will link it in the description. So let's just have a look at them and see what we could have been in for. Winter Warnerland. Um okay, I guess this is gonna be the Christmas film. Uh let's see what do we have here. We have Wacko as um Ru Rudolph, I guess. Uh Dot in a very cute little elf outfit, and Yako as Santa. According to Taruga, this movie would have been about um, the Warners going over to North Pole to, you know, it's one, it's one of those help save Santa stories which, to be honest, I don't, I'm not really into, but I think it, this one will be more of, um, let's harass Santa, which I'm not exactly happy about. You can harass any jerk you want, but not Santa. Don't harass Santa. Leave him alone. He has a really hard job. Come on. But they look really cute in their Christmas outfits, I suppose. And this is the only digital uh, poster concept art we have here. So the uh, the others are all pencil sketches. So um, this is this could have been. I don't know what I was going to say. Second one is called Road to Bohemia and I like what <laughs> what is happening over here. Apparently some of the things that are meant to be in the Road to Be Bohemia what went into Wacko's Wish anyway. So, you know, there's really no chance of this ever happening in the future. But we have some sort of pilgrim village there. We have, I, I, it looks like Oogie Boogie in the sky. I don't know what's, what that is. It's the Phantom Ink Blot from, from Epic Mickey or something like that. We have um, a guy with horses, what well, looks like he's chasing the Warners, like Can Can dance over there. Is that like Farfic Nugan on drugs? And we have the Warners themselves at the front, which are, which are all, they're all gypsies. They all look like they're cosplaying for Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Yako especially looks like gender bend Esmeralda. Oh my god, that is weird. God help the outcasts, am I right? The Warners cosplaying as Disney characters. Someone has to do that. Wacko's got his ear pierced. He's got his ear pierced. Why? Ow, that looks like it hurts. They're all just mystical gypsies in with a crystal ball. Is that... I can't remember her name from Haunted Mansion. Oh, God. I c What's her name? The, the the lady in the crystal ball from Haunted, Haunted Mansion. I can't remember. Ah, this is killing me right now because I know her name. Mm, mm, does, doesn't matter. It it could be her. <laughs> I, Disney Warner Brothers collab. Yep, good poster, good poster. Wandering Warner's We. Now, this is something I know quite a bit about. Um, I don't know the story to it or, or, or anything, but it was supposed to be the introduction of a third brother, a fourth sibling called Lacko. And he was, he was fired by his own siblings because he wasn't entertaining or zany enough. He's quite boring. <laughs> what? I do not like this at all. No, not not because that there's a fourth sibling. I don't mind that. They already introduced Sacco in the Animaniacs comics, which I don't think is canon. <laughs> what I don't like is the fact that he was fired by his own siblings. I can understand if it was, if it was Plots or, or any of the CEOs from Warner Brothers, but it's like his own brothers and sister going, nah mate, you're too boring, <laughs> leave. <laughs> no, that is not a good thing. No, never 
make this in also some sort of fairy tale folk uh folk fairy tale folk tale yeah drawings are really nice but colors are just brown never make the Laco storyline because that is way too cruel but i don't think the warners will ever do that to their own sibling no never ever do that little orphan warners or the oliver twist parody as i can see from here we have our three olivers here wacko looks like he ate his own bowl why is he starving he will never be hungry because he can eat everything if i'm gonna be honest i'm not really a big fan of oliver twist i've read the book and i like the book i'm not a big fan of the musical i know i'm sorry i'm sorry i know a lot of people like the musical however there's one song i like and that is um papa i love that song um papa um papa that's how it goes i can't sing i'm sorry i just love the beat of that song and the way people dance and during that song and oh uh, it makes you want to get up and dance yourself i'll be fine with this as long as there's an um papa parody i really want an um papa parody good idea good idea hooray for hollywood there's an episode of anime it's called i think it's called north hollywood or something like that elements that were taken from this concept idea went into that episode instead the warners who are too young to drive a car are driving a car doll looks so funky in those glasses she's just looking at us like yep yeah. I'm fabulous and there's a whole line of celebrities around the edge of the poster which I will never know who they are because I am shit at seeing what the character character I can't tell who the people are from character character caricatures character characters caricatures caricatures revolutionary warners mm hmm mm hmm I have a feeling this is gonna be looking like a Pocahontas parody but we already had a Pocahontas parody Poker Dallas. Funny enough, Yako and Dot are dressed in the marching people's outfits, and Wako is. he's in just stereotypical Native American clothes, I guess. Actually, they look more Inuit than <laughs> Native American. I don't know a lot about American history or American Revolution or whatever it was, so I have no idea. <laughs> I can't really talk about what's going on here. And finally, we get to the last instalment. <laughs> <laughs> This means Warners. It's a World War II epic. <sighs> a lot of people don't know this, but one of my favourite films is Grave of the Fireflies. I would give anything to see Warners in Grave of the Fireflies. All three of them look so happy. They all look so happy that they're part of the World War II. Like, yeah, we're flying a plane! Yeah, we're dropping arrows and everyone! Yeah! I'm assuming all the sparks at the bottom of the poster are the explosions of many people and houses falling down to their deaths. Dot should die again. She should die again. And <laughs> Yako should be up in the sky on the aeroplane. And Wako. Wako should write a diary and Frank style. <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? I think the reason why I'm laughing at this is because they look so cheerful to be in this. This just shouldn't be a cheerful subject. You should be depressed. What the heck, Warner Brothers? Yeah, let's go and kill people! Yeah! And those are the concept art for the cancelled Animaniacs films that I found. I found seven. I found seven. I don't know if there are any more. Please correct me if there are more because then I will do a little reaction to them. Some of these are pretty good, pretty good ideas and others are just, no. I like The Road to Bohemia, Little Orphan Warners and This Means Warners. Come on, Animaniacs and Grave of the Fireflies, someone's gotta die. Just don't let the Warners neglect their siblings. Bye.